Time to make our way back to the familiar sights of Pyrite Town. And before, let's check this stuff out. So, yes, I did switch to Carvana. Let's actually check its stats out real quick. It's got black glass, which will increase its dark type moves. And yeah, we'll work on this. But in the meantime, I also fixed up Flappy and Baltoy. And I believe I did put away uh, Puchiena because I don't really need another dark type. Oh yeah, Flappy, our Mareep evolved. But other than that, this is the team we'll take to move on. Just make our return to Pyrite Town. A noble town of rogues and ruffians. Professor Crane's friends live here. Let's go meet up with Sack and Net at ONBS. A familiar sight in See if they're still as rough as anything and just want to battle every time. Oh boy, that was framing. Marsha! Wait! Wait for me! Whoa, they're fast. <sighs> Marsha, wait! Wait for me! <laughs> We're recording something, remember? Ah yes, this bastard. There goes Marcia, tearing off like a tornado as usual. There goes one busy girl. Huh, what's up with you, kid? Why are you giving me the eye like that? Do you know who I am? I'm Kale. They call me the gatekeeper pyrite. You're a gatekeeper now? Yeah, that smoldering look says you're ready to challenge me. Alright. Alright then, I'll show you what being Kale, the gatekeeper pirate, is all about. Bro, Kale, you don't have any shadow Pokemon this time, do you? Let's also give our Carvana some training. A rough skin. Oh great, now I'm gonna get hurt hurting the ropes. Oh well. Risk is necessary. Risk will be taken. Yep, rough skin. See that? Guess I'll take care of this snuggle. Why'd you go for the Carvana when there's a psychic type Espeon right over there? By the way, the holidays are coming up. Well, as of the video... Actually, no. Even as I'm recording this video, the holidays are coming up. Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's... What do you guys want? What are you guys trying to do? Well, obviously, as this video, when this video is already up, Thanksgiving would have passed. But we still have Christmas and friggin' um, New Year's. And I guess for those who celebrate, Hanukkah as well. A lot of good stuff coming up. How do you guys feel? I literally 
just randomly texted my mom saying like, wow, Thanksgiving is coming fast. Because as I'm recording this, it is November 6th, like about two weeks before Thanksgiving. It's like, damn, I didn't realize time was going by so fast. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of tackle. But yeah, like Thanksgiving is closing in. And actually, as of, as of when I'm recording this, it's only a few weeks from my 21st birthday. But you would have already known that because the last of the Pokemon Coliseum videos is actually on my birthday. So I guess by the time this video comes out, I'm 21. But as I'm recording it, I'm only 20 right now. Hey kid, I have to hand it to you. You have to, go you have to be good to be Kale, Pirate's Gatekeeper. You weren't that strong though. See how the fortune teller is doing. Have you heard? Wild Pokemon have appeared. Fatine, or Fatine, who's considered Pirate's mother, foretold the appearance of Pokemon in the wild. Well, look at you. It's incredible. We'll now be able to catch Wild Pokemon right here in the ore region. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a big thing. That's something I can take care of constantly. Find what you seek, be it an object, person, or luck. Welcome to Fatine's fortune telling chamber. Oh, sorry, I had gas in my throat. I'm Fatine. If you have a problem, cloud your, if I have a problem, cloud your brow, you shall come to me. Mr. Duke King, this town's leader, took my fit took my fortune telling to heart. So it's high and low for the wild Pokemon I have foretold. His search has been rewarded. He appears to have found several locations where wild Pokemon appear. Interesting. I suppose we should talk to this Duke King. I saw Marcia run off. She's always bursting with energy, that one. That patient energy of Marcia's, she gets that from her father, Duke King. This is Pirate Town, famous as the home to ONBS. You came to tour, you did take a tour of ONBS too, didn't you? I can tell, we got visitors from all over. The ONBS building stands next to the big windmill, you really can't miss it. I guess the ONBS building is that, actually no, that thing was raided. I guess it was still the ONBS building, anyways. I'm sure it was the chef of Pirate Police. Are you a traveling trainer? Town has become peaceful, but there are still plenty of roughnecks around. They know how to keep us busy, what with their brawling and so on. Lots of them will go out of their way to pick a fight with you. Be careful when you're out on the streets. Noted. Seems like still some of the cypher morons are here. Darn, I got locked over a dumb street fight. If I don't get out of here soon. Kit, are you... thing on your arm. It can't be. Oh, no, that's nothing. Get lost already. Oh, that's one of the team snag em, guys. Eh. I'm not listening! <laughs> Go away! Is he trying to drop the temptation? Oh, there's an item here. Hyper potion. Ah, uh, I got lumps in my head from some shiny headed guy thumping me. You don't deny I lipped off at him first, but he took a swing at me first. You gotta let me out of here! I don't know what to tell you, man. There's no one in there. Oh, we don't even get the items menu brought up, so I guess you can't even go in there in this game. Ah, there we go. Mirror B peons. Alright then, what have we here? Well, if it isn't Trudley and Folly, what do you think you're up to? What are we up to? You got it all wrong. We're here to do some shopping, that's all. Now, don't you lie to me. I know about the likes of you. You're up to no good, aren't you? Cut off some slack, Officer Johnson, sir. We've had a change of heart. We've sworn off our criminal ways, yes, sir. No, 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 that doesn't wash with me. No, sir, it doesn't. I won't have you lot walking around the streets as if you own the place. Ugh, pompous oaf. Folly, the man won't listen to reason. Let's get out of here. Yep. The very first two villains that we saw in Coliseum. Two Cypher BPons. Or mirror BPons. I've never seen a wild Pokemon before. I can't wait to get my eyes my eyes on one. Duke King's the leader of Pirate. He also operates the Coliseum here. But lately I hear he's letting his right hand man Silva run things. Oh yeah, like Silva's been a bastard in Coliseum, but like towards the end of the game, he's really been pulling everything through. After all, Duke King's committed to his quest to find wild Pokemon. We're expecting big things from him too. Anything new? We bring you ONBS News. This is the story of the man who works inside Pyrite's landmark, the town's giant windmill. 
The man's familiar to all with his slogan, 35 long years of cranking gears. Oh yeah, that one. However, there have been rumors in some quarters that perhaps his claim of 35 years is hugely exaggerated and that the real figure is 5 years. Why does this matter? Asking the man himself proved fruitless and he refused to say anything other than 35 long years of cranking gears. While the truth is shrouded in mystery, OMB has played to determinedly follow up on this story. Why does this matter? If the man wants to say he's been working for seven times longer than he really has, then just let him be. It's not harming anyone. Oh, wait, wait! You gave him another tap, didn't you? The way here, did you happen to spot any wild Pokemon? I've never seen any in the wild. You know how the environment around these parts was too caustic for Pokemon to survive? Recent people have been saying there are wild Pokemon out and about. So, then there's no point in asking. Sure. This is Duke King's place. Ah, it's Sopa. And the bookcase is gone. I'm Sopa. I'm the operating manager of Pirate Coliseum. Well, I'm manager in title only. I'm just filling in. Duke King, the town's leader, discovered a place where wild Pokemon gather. Ever since then, he's been engrossed in searching for wild Pokemon. In the meantime, he left me in charge of the Coliseum. If you want to battle, you should go straight to the Coliseum registration desk and apply. I made poker snacks that one Pokemon couldn't can't resist. You can ask me to make them. I never imagined I'd be getting a part-time job at this age. But it's a bit too dark and chilly for my old bones to take. Learn to take it easy, Grams. Alright, here's Officer Johnson. Those two that just ran off. They're named Folly and Trudley. They once belonged to Cypher, but just as mere grunts. Back in the, those days, they were re wreaked havoc as if they owned the place, but I caught up with them and put them straight. I cut quite the dashing figure, don't I? It's my job to pull the peace and pirate. Wait, they say pirate time or pirate pow? Pow! The guy's still gonna fight, and there's also other people that weren't there before. Well, I better run to the. I better return to the inn again today and get rested up. Before I do that, a little spot I says would be a, would be the thing. It'll let me sleep better. So, Sunny, have a quick battle. Work up a good sweat together. Worker Dobit. Spoink and Magnum. Shadowed Hound Hour. This in this game they seem to give you more opportunities to train. I'm gonna have a water type on my team yet. I need a water type. Ah yes, a move that only does 20 points of damage. I'm sure surprised. You should check the dual square up ahead here. You'll be sweating up a storm. Oh, yeah. Still active and battling. Can I actually just jump right over to, like, the Coliseum area and heal? Paralyze heal. Broken too. Ugh. It's a wild Zigzagoon. It's cute. I had a dream of a Zigzagoon. That's nice. 
I like cute dreams. I've been traveling through the ore region. I think that I think the ravaged land is getting better little by little. Don't think we'll be all that far off before Wild Pokemon can survive out here. You think? Focus band. Oh yeah, I bought a hundred Pokeballs. And I bought them ten at a time, so I can get tons of Premier Balls too. May I think I'm maybe two stacked, but you never know. They Pokemon Colors Yam and XC are both known to pull fast ones on you. Just prevent fainting. Well I don't have any spoons and I Yeah, sure. Might as well take everything, every opportunity I can. And we got some great balls. Actually, did your set pick up anything? It has not. It has a chance to do it after every battle. I was at the Coliseum where I managed to beat my, my first three opponents, but couldn't pull off the last win. You don't win the prize if you can't put together a four-win streak. I'm gonna get some hard-earned rest and make another challenge. Actually, it doesn't matter how much money I have. I'm just gonna see if I can head all the way to the stadium to heal. First, what should I buy today? I'd like to buy some X accuracy, but I don't have enough money. Listen, if someone were to say, I'll give you 10 Poke Pokeballs for free, Poke Pokeballs? No. So you seem to be able to make decisions coolly. Must be a total Ninkapoo for accepting those useless red and white sticks. Yes, of course you would. Anyone would make the mistake and accept. Probably just sell them. Do you, do you use different items for treating your Pokemon when they're hurt in some way? I get laces. I use full here for clearing up any kind of trouble. Yeah, I suppose having a few full heals wouldn't hurt. Just on the off chance I don't have the, an item I can use to actually heal any status. Wait, I can stop. by Cypher beneath the cliff here. The town was just called the Under. When Cypher's hold over the town was broken, the Under citizens moved out into the sunlight. I am one of them. Owen BS's net is another famous former resident of the Under. They went and buried the Under to prevent people from getting to the abandoned town site. It's sad to see my hometown go like that. Okay, so they just removed the Under completely. I'm warming up right now. Can I get you to clear the way? Sorry, sir. Oh, the guy's gone, too. Oh, but there's a girl here. There's a woman here now. Get some healage. When Cypher ruled Pirate, the admin in charge was a man named Mirror B. I think the name was. Then he was laugh laughably silly, but he was supposed to be a tough battler. I would have liked to take him on. What you have now? Pirate Coliseum. Let's. Yes. Let's try out the Coliseum. The first Coliseum in Pokemon XD. Pirate Coliseum. I'm the first in line. I'll leave you tingling with shock. Rosila. Chaser Rosila. Rosila. Oh, okay.
least our fire tank is also a dark type. Doing damage. Let me hit the Teddy Ursa, please. And before this Pichu comes to hurt me. That Pichu is staring at me, and I don't like it. Okay, good. Finally, for the third one. Get rid of the fucking Teddy Ursa. That peach you staring at me funny and I don't like it. You got two! No shockwave. So 
also trying to use heal battle here. You really got yourself set a confusion team. Not to mention, Flaffy keeps hurting itself. Popeye. <laughs> Check him out, my Pokemon from a golden trio. Monar. Sailor Monar. Freaking Popeye the Sailor Moon here. Oh, you got the Johto starters? if we can get some starters. There we go, all the Jodo starters. We'll focus on the Cinderella. Okay, fast is about quick attack. It's just another spin dash! Ah, but don't worry, Static took care of it.
Rocket coming into contact with Popeye here. My golden trio! Should have had a full team of six. The Kanto starters and the Johto starters. You're aiming to beat me? That's not about to happen. Chaser Ruffert. Ralton Puccietta. We're back to a team of four. This Raw to not trace either of our abilities? Jupex. Find an impossible. I've been watching a lot of Pokemon Ranger recently. I have all three games. I've been always wanting to check them out. And whether it be through my tablet or, or somehow managed to learn how to control through my PC, I really want to play all three games again. And for the channel, because might as well. Ah, huh, Carvana got bite. Like, just watching the game makes me excited. It makes me remember my childhood. Like, Pokemon Call of Duty is such a long-forgotten game. And I feel so bad because it's such an amazing game. Pokemon Ranger, Pokemon Call of Duty, such a... Not, well, yeah, Pokemon Call of Duty, but I meant to say Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Pokemon Ranger and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon are best, definitely some of the best spin-offs series. And I'll be damned if they become forgotten. I guess I forgot to get it because I know I'm, or I'm pretty sure I'm not really going to get a freaking, um, capture card for my DS anytime soon. 
But even so, even if I do get a capture card, I'd like I would like to have some new copies. Because one, not only are my copies of the game very old, but I have 100% at least two of them, and I don't want to have to erase them just for the channel. I have 100 percent to the game, to the original and guardian signs. I don't want to erase them, even if it means playing them for the channel. Uh oh, faint attack actually does damage in this game. Yeah, you do that. I'm gonna work to take out the snowboard. There we go. No need for that helping hand. Oh, that didn't do a lot either, though. I want to try getting into flinch. Damn. But it went for the Hound Hour, even though it got a crit, so it kills. What is the crit rate in this game? For real, for real. Whatever. They become the champions of the Pirate Coliseum. <gasps> now, I might have to hold off the other Coliseum because those are going to be higher level. For sure. Wow, you're good! You've won the title! Of the Pirate Pirates. Congratulations for winning your challenge! What a marvelous run of battles! Prize of 3040. There's another prize which is presenting you TM31. Look forward to your next challenge. Oh, my Pokemon are healed. As for TM31, Brick Break. Oh, Flaffy come in. Okay, I might give it to Flaffy. Heal Bass. All oh, abnormalities. Quick break is. Ooh, 75 power. Ah, but I want. Really want to keep Heal Bell. And Body Slam. Full paralysis with Epic Dose. Fine, I'll get rid of Body Slam. Let's head to the dual square and take these bastards on as well. Before heading to ONBS. Actually, let's see if the old guy is still working here. The old guy who apparently matters how long it's been working here. Thank you, see Jenner Magic Windmill, Power to Coliseum, and ONBS, among other places. Excuse don't break get stolen. The windmill is an infinite source of energy. Oh, yep, here we go. 35 years I've spun these gears. What's with you, youngster? Do you want to spin gears too? Not disappointed, but this isn't a job that anyone can just pick up. Give another 25 years and come back. Does he think I'm 10? No doubt, no doubt. I've been doing this for 35 years. Only I can do this. Yeah, rumor says you've only been doing this for 5 years. And apparently there's a whole news story going on about it. it doesn't matter to me who my phones are, even little kids. I battle with all my money. Rider Dirt. Slug mine, not to. Let's be out in the car of Von Hahn.
Fertig. Oh, we had to lose. <clears throat> you didn't have to lose. You, who do you think you are? I'm not losing next time, you. This is Duel Square, where the weak fail and the strong prevail. Don't be rowed if someone suddenly challenges you to a battle. I tried. Here goes. Chaser Phenol. Shrub it and let him go. Definitely wants to kick my ass. I was gonna swap out, but I might as well just do it like this. Oh, definitely. Combo, ultimate dark type. It's a battle, come for a visit. We're always waiting. Actually, no, let's go around. This is a dual square. We'll live by tradition here. There's no need for greetings, just battle. Hunter railing. Dixagoon and a wizard. Off somewhere. Carvana's probably just gonna die by the burn. And I haven't even killed it yet. <laughs>
about Dunsparce is tanky. More tanky. I should definitely do something about that first. But I won't. You'll just have to faint by it. The only thing I don't want to do that is because we're near a heal center. A heal center that isn't the hotel. I didn't count on losing! What a surprise. You didn't count on seeing a trainer like me here, did you? If anyone demands a battle here until square, you shouldn't complain. And that's the rule around here. You want to battle with me, don't you? I can tell. I was seized by the urge, too. Love that. Shrina. Shrina. I underestimated you. you. Thought you were just a kid. Don't underestimate this kid, you know. Not bad. It's not going to be this way next time. All right. Bonjour. Did you know my Pokemon I match Trebian? I don't speak French. I don't think I can ever lose now. I'll show you my aggressive style. Oh, this is Pokemon Legend to Arceus now? Doby. Machop and Tentacool. Oh, two Pokemon I can simply just handle with that speed. Wait, that's a Trespian? It's Trabian.
played things too aggressively. Hi, Flaffy. Flaffy Taffy. This can't be right! Fatine's fortune telling has a reputation of never being wrong! The, who did they predict would win? Did you, did you probably misread that? They probably just said you would battle a redhead trainer. Redhead kid trainer. The outcome was enshrouded in fog or something. Okay, so apparently Pirate Town can handle the menu. What was going on in the lab that it lagged every time I paused the game? Whatever. To the building. First. This is the own BS building. There have been too many shady people hanging around lately. I'm keeping an eye on things to keep out those sorts of bad elements. Well, I'm going in. Welcome to ONBS! All visitors are free to wander the ONBS building and see our network in operation. My name is Meg, and I'm the official gla guide. Glad to meet you. She never evolved her... Shroomish. The Shroomish is my friend, isn't it cute? We broadcast TV signals all across the ore region. Hope you'll take the time to see how we work. Take a tour of ONBS 2? I've been here lots of times. ONBS used to be called the Kids Grid HQ before. I heard it was started by a bunch of kids. Isn't that cool? Perhaps you can do something too. It's booked out the Battle of the Kids from the Kids Network to ONBS. Getting news reports from all over, like we always do, our reporters are keeping busy. Hottest news story going on right now is Wild Pokemon Story. It's become the latest craze. OMBS was founded by Second Net. It's now the biggest information network in your region. Nowadays, Sec handles the business side of things, and Net acts as the chief of engineering and technology. Oh, sorry, maybe that was a little complicated. Feel free to wander and look around. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. It's good to get some information. Ground on. Oh. oh, okay. Awesome. Pikachu, Ludicolo. Some Pokemon pictures that are hard to see. Oh, it's just another Groudon and a Swampert. Oh, here comes the lag again. Pokemon is ready to go, so I'll do that off screen, obviously. Razzle and Dazzle are a hot new idol duo from Gadeon Port. They can sing, dance, and even perform magic stunts. Oh, they're here now. Hi, I'm Dazzle. Aren't I just the cutest? This is how I always am. After all, we're going to be dancing in front of the show's title logo. We have to show us at our very best. Name's Razzle. I've been chosen to dance during the opening of a new program. I'm ecstatic, but I'm really nervous too. What should I do? Just do what you keep doing, girls. I have some boys to meet up with. Or, or, or network. Ah, did you hear me? Uh oh, it's so embarrassing. That's the NBS song that I composed. It's catchy, memorable, don't you think? Hi, welcome to NBS. The name's Sack. I'm supposed to be in charge here. I'm glad to meet you. Taught about kids five years ago during the Shadow Incident, a tiny network has grown into this today. I operate the place with my partner, Net. We're convinced that reporting the unvarnished truth would be for the good of peace and justice. You know, did you want something from me? Professor Crane's message to say. You're kidding! Safer was using its desert lab again? Okay, understand. Understood. You should take the data ROM and show it to Net right away. I'm sure you can say for whatever information stored on the data ROM. I am with difficult looking books. The elevator over here. There is school in here? Locked. I'm hoping to put 
put together a new Pokemon battle program. I'm gathering information for it. I'm trying to sign the star. Such a Pokemon about battling. I suppose the legendary trainer Egan would be a logical choice. Or you could try finding Wes from the first game. What? Well, I, I don't know where my mommy is. Can we find my mommy? Thank you. I wonder where my mommy went. I'll go charge your part. Completely forgot about this too. Okay, we're going live. Cute. Bring you a special news bulletin. Professor Crane, the abducted head of the Pokemon HQ lab, has been safely rescued. Professor Crane had been held ha captive in Cypher's Desert Research Facility, which was widely believed to have been abandoned. Reports say that Professor Crane was rescued by a lone team. The incident is evidence that Cypher has returned after apparently being crushed five years ago. The authorities fear that Cypher's return could result in more serious incidents. Citizens are urged to be vigilant and cautious. Alright. That's a wrap. Good job, Anka. Anka's looking great like she always does. It might be hard to imagine, but when Anka was starting out, she was prone to on-air disasters. Now look at her. She's become an OMBS top newscaster. There's absolutely no question about these days. About that, those day, these days, whatever. I'm Anka. I'm a newscaster here at OMBS. My job is to deliver the news as to, to as many people as possible. Now starting out, I did experience some close calls, but still, I find it shot to be fulfilling. How'd you do? And help a little girl find her mother. She don't know where they are. It's over here. I know I saw my look, but when I'm going on before TV, I have to be extra careful with my makeup. Yeah, can't you see the lady's getting ready? Please don't come in any closer. Okay, so I can't even... Wow. Stingy. There's a heel center. Man, is she slow. How long is she going to keep me waiting? She's supposed to be out covering the story with our oldest veteran reporter, but she takes forever getting ready every time. Day would be done at this rate. Oh, here we go. Oh, this isn't going well. I have to go on air to but my candy. My candy hasn't come back. Oh, Mommy! Candy, sweetheart! Mommy! Oh, am I glad to see you. I was worried about you. You seem to just disappear. I'm sorry, Mommy. I went out of your room for just a minute, but then I couldn't find it again. That guy that brought me here. Oh, my, how very kind of you. Thank you. Certainly, thank you. It's just a small token of my appreciation. Oh, a tooth bell. Candy has to go into the studio to tape a music program. Sure, it'll be aired soon. When it is, I hope you're tuning in to see her sing. What about you, little girl? When I was lost, I felt really lonesome, Mommy. I'm so glad we found you, Mommy. Thank you, too. A Soothe Bell. I either give it to a Pokemon that knows return, or just hold on to it for any friendship evolutions. I'm just holding on to it. Information as data is fine, but I also like seeing it kept in printed form on paper. You see, I enjoy the feel of paper as I flip the pages. I mean, some things have to be held. Hey, hey we ha can't have you wandering around here. It's not safe. Come on, out you go. What the fuck? Let me have the items. This is where we keep sets and props. We can't have you getting hurt here, so out you go. Ah, the cave is locked off. I've been told by Nets, and I'll allow anyone through. He's working right now. What? You came from the Pokemon HQ lab? My son can't let you through. I'll get in trouble if I do. Dutro, do we have a visitor? Oh, Nets, the person here says he's coming. He's calling from the Pokemon HQ lab. Oh, yes, I was expecting him. Please show him through. Oh, sure thing. I'll let him through. Now, please. Nets waiting for you inside. Well, they took down the, down st the stairs completely. Hello, I've been expecting you. Your game's right. I'm Ned. 
and this is Bit. He's my friend and an invaluable partner. Pleased to meet you. We heard from Professor Crane. Sounds like you pulled off a daring rescue. Yes, Bit, but now is not the time to waste chatting. Let's see the data Professor Crone called about. Crane, Crone. Games handed the data wrong to net. I've deciphered something similar to this before. It brings back memories. Was he talking about the shadow Pokemon wrong? Okay, I think it's going to take some time for me to check the contents of this data wrong. Can you wait while I do that? Hey, Nat, how's this for an idea? Our new team should be out visiting Duking at one of his poker spots to follow a story about wild Pokemon. Since he's got free time, why not have him go visit Duking as well? Hey, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Good suggestion, Bip. Are you interested in wild Pokemon? Wouldn't hurt to go look, you know. Oh, yes, my have your PDA number. I'll contact you as soon as I find anything out. Thanks, you. I'll, thank you. I'll try to decipher this as quickly as possible. By the way, Bit, where's our news team? Um, I think I said profess that the rock Poke Stop spot. I think this Poke Spot was the destination. All right, we'll go check it out. Hey, games, go out to Poke Spot and wait for me to call. Who knows? She may see some wild Pokemon. Sure as hell, hope I do. Can I now go in the room to pick up those items? Everyone wants to be stingy. Damn. Oh well, I will come back here anyway, so might as well just... Oh wait, the guy isn't here. Guess that means the lady finally finished doing her makeup. So I guess I can check that item out. Even though I could also just wait until when I come back. And... A revive. I really wish there was a faster way out of here. <clears throat> oh, there they go again, Trudley and Folly. Hey, don't you think it's too tough for us to pull anything in this town? Our faces are too well known. Yeah, I hear you. If we don't hurry, the boss will get impatient and come looking for us himself. We're okay on that score. I went and snuck a transmitter on the boss. You can tell where he is by checking this radar, so we can always be ready for him when he blows his top. I have to hand it to you, Folly. Way to go! <laughs> now we won't have to worry about getting bashed six feet underground. Huh? Charlie, looks like we got an email. Ah! Is it the boss? Let's see. You two, come back right now, it says. Ah, oh, gosh darn it all. He sounds like he's fuming. He might dock us dinner again. We better scoot back. Oh, no, then I'm gonna get to eat. Yeah, not so much for this radar. It's not much use to the boss going to page us by email. Oh man, why do I lie to be this tragic? Looks like Mirror B got around the whole transmitter thing and decided to message them instead. Anyways, to the pokey spot we go. A rough and rocky pokey spot where wild Pokemon appear. Can't see myself using this a lot. Hello, people! It's time for Pop for Pop T's fast breaking report. We bring you news while it's breaking. Okay. Today we're visiting Duking, the discoverer of -er, a pokey spot where wild Pokemon appear. And Duking's got to change. Duking is said to be the driving force behind the booming popularity of wild Pokemon in Pyrite. Duking, so is this the Poke Spot that you discovered? Hello, Duking it. Yes, that's absolutely right. For 15 long and torturous years, I toiled, snatching sleep only grudgingly to find this Poke Spot. 15 years? Is that true? Yeah, uh, one shouldn't let details get in the way of the story. Isn't that right, Betty? Uh, it's Poff Team. Alright, let me explain how one goes about attracting wild Pokemon to a Poke Spot. Well, seeing as you're here, wouldn't it be better if I got someone to demonstrate? Oh, you there. Yes, you, kid. You'll be perfect. Come on here, mate. Come over here, mate. Alright. Alright, my friend. Let me show you how to track wild Pokemon to a Pokespot. First and above all else, you need these. Two King Brand Poke Snacks. I'll give you some. Ten. Alright, my friend. Let, lay those Poke Snacks down on the plate there. Go on now. Very 
Very good, mate. That's how you do it. You lay out the Pokes, Pokestax and leave the area eventually. There, eventually a wild Pokemon will come along. Just you wait. The more Pokestax you lay out, the longer Pokemon will stay to eat, making it that much easier to catch. Also important, I especially, my specially made spot monitor. This I'm sure you'll agree is truly something amazing or something awesome. My goodness, you developed this device by yourself? Yeah, uh, watch and let details get in the way of the story, isn't that right, Betty? <laughs> it's Pofty! How do I do, Ken? Can you tell us what a spot monitor is? I'm glad you asked me that. My spot monitor is a dandy. Is a dandy. It lets you know what's happening at any poker spot, wherever you are. Here, my friend, as thanks for hearing me out patiently, I'll make a gift of this too. Slot it into your PDA. That's all you need to do to make it work. Simple. Spot monitor. Can't really see myself making so too much use of this place. All right, now you're set. Now, when a wild Pokemon appears at any Pokemon spot, your spot monitor will spawn alert you. I found three Pokemon and all. There's one in the west of this one here. That's right, we're right there. Use these focus spots and catch up some wild Pokemon. Give it a try, mate. I'll take a look at it, but I definitely can't see myself using these. At least not too often. Lush Oasis like focus spot with wild Pokemon up here. I guess I'll leave more focus snacks here. Oh, it's you! You're the lad who helped me. I saw on that new show. Thanks much, mate. I'm surprised you came out to a place like this. It must mean you're seriously interested in wild Pokemon. It's marvelous. That makes it all worthwhile. My teaching you, I mean. So you're a fine, upstanding lad. Lover of wild Pokemon. I have some information that you'll find to be special. But, my friend, I also have a favor to ask. It's a fair deal, right? Yeah. Thank you kindly. See, there are some Pokemon hardly ever show up at Poker Spots. Trapping, Surskate, and Wooper. I'm having a rotten time of it trying to catch those three. If you were to cast them, I'd gladly change some of my Pokemon, mate. Counting on you, mate. I've got to be on my way now. Whoops, must have forget. I promised to give you some special information, didn't I? If you go way off to the northeast, the Pokespot, it's hard to find since inside a cave. My favorite Pokespot, you've got to go see it. I guess I should be going on my way. Real pleasure chatting with you again, mate. Heading back to Pirate. Come visit whenever you'd like. To meet again. Adios. I guess uh, at least at least for now I'll make use of these spots. I'm gonna go back to the first one and actually put something on there. Really? Keep focus spot. A dark and damn pokey spot with wild Pokemon up here. Ah, Trudley and Folly. What do you figure the boss is going to do now? I'm tired of this life, man. I need to put down roots somewhere. Eh, <sighs> don't whine too much. You know what the boss always says. He'll get Team Mirror and B together one day and we'll own all the Pokemon in the world. Sure, do you really think we could pull off something like... What? Well, well, it's just some kid. Don't seek up on me like that. Don't be so jumpy. I've got my radar. I don't know if the boss is coming around. Uh, yeah, that's true. Did he email you again? The radar's got something. It's the boss, Mirror B. Goes a swag head. Hey, my posse! Have you ran the Pokemon like I wanted? Mm, stop the music! Oh, oh, I sense a pleading set of Pokemon. Oh, yes, I do. Maybe you're just a little hood, but maybe you're also one fine trainer with the goods. But you get with it. Enjoy my posse. Be one of us, and you'll soon be owning all the Pokemon around the world. I thought you'd say that. You always had this smell to me. You see, that you would be our enemy. How I deal with a threat is to nip it while it's a bud yet. I'll be showing you my power now. Try not to be blown away by my sense of wow. Let the music play! Here we go. Wanderer Mirror B. Some new music. A pair of Lombre.
a bit longer. Thief. No! Stole my band. Oh no, it's probably holding something. It didn't steal it, so that means it is holding something. That wouldn't be bad if it just stole my band and then lived on one. And do it a hit. Yep, I expected a shadow Pokemon. By the time. Shadow Pokemon. Take out the other Lombre. I'm just gonna lower this thing's accuracy and paralyze it. sure they do. And I swear they do. Oh, well, that works. Still gonna lower its accuracy for no reason at all. Actually, no. I'll keep it the extra reach. Can't fucking speed. Just gonna use one of my random premier balls. Save this bolt orb. Probably not gonna use it because I think I'm sick with the Ampharos. Uh, would be more beneficial since I have like a low level Teddy Ursa on my team right now. You messed up my rhythm! I just can't. No, I just can't do it! We got Voltorb. Oh, you, you, you! You made me so angry. I'm seeing red! Don't you dare think this is over! Just you wait and see. One of these days, my elegant steps, I'll knock you sideways. Let's go. Escape! Well, little did you know, your peons were trying to escape you. I'll just place everything else I have. And... <laughs> we got their radar. Well, came with instructions. To Trudley. This is how the radar works. When you're finished reading, get rid of this. It mean, shows you where Mirror B, that's the boss, happens to be. When the boss appears somewhere, a mark appears on the screen. See the mark? Check out the radar. I'll tell you, it'll tell you where he is. Let me ask me where the boss is when he's not on radar. You know how mysterious he can be. Who knows where he goes off to? Probably off getting Pokemon or something. Somewhere far away, out of the transmitter's range from Folly. I got it. Oh, looks like the kids are back up. Games, I haven't completed announcing the data ROM, but I did make a stunning discovery about Sacred's plan. Please come right away. We need to discuss this in person. That right, we shall. I'm a little scared that now once I go into the base, Pokemon's gonna appear. That's why I don't like doing these, and I'm probably not gonna do these all the time. Fine, we'll see.
Yep. Ah, there's bad trouble. A bunch of shady characters snuck in and took Meg, the receptionist, hostage. <laughs> like even the shroomish is panicking. Poor shroomish is panicking as well. Whoops! You're not going this way. Yep, the cipher peons. Cipher peon red. Carvana and Barbosh. Ah, damn, I need to heal. amount of damage and it's burned much like my carvana before Center on a higher floor. Beaten by a punk like you? Yes. Off on the side. They came and took Meg. Meg is Ned's younger sister. You know, she's the receptionist. You've seen her, right? She just grabbed her and hosted her upstairs with them in the elevator. Anything here? All right, all of you listen up. Everyone has to remain calm and quiet here. No funny stuff. Anyone tries to get out, there will be serious consequences. Get it? Mighty suspicious. Says you. Mokor. Weird ass name. Poor fish and electric. I'm suspicious about a boy and his mons. Beyond Mokor. You're tougher than that security guard at the entrance. Damn, yeah, that security guard is just is just on the floor right now. And the guy ran away. Who saved us? Thank you. you. Better be careful though. There are so many more of those cretins around. What? Ah, I'm scared. What about you two? You what? We're saved. Yeah, I thought we we're doomed. 
thought they might keep us locked up as hostage forever. Thank you for rescuing us. Some more work to be done. Oh, yep. One of them followed us up here. I see you, bastard. <laughs> you look mystified. You don't know how I managed to be in the elevator with you, do you? I'll tell you what I did. I braced myself flat up against the ceiling. Takes a lot of strength. Not bad, huh? I demand your respect. And now we battle. Torkin. He just braced himself against the ceiling. Pecleon and Sirsky. Espeon and Houndour. Okay, I can bite it to finish it off. Well, I use fire. Teddy or son. Laffy out to paralyze. Shadow Blitz. Swap out Espeon. Yeah, Bob's already good. Holy shit. That actually did a lot more damage than I thought it would. But we got the paralysis. I just start chucking my balls. Start hucking my balls and being on my way. On this floor, why well, didn't matter what floor it stopped on? Whatever. All you need to do is answer a question. If you comply, you won't get hurt. Hold it, punk! You shouldn't be snooping around. Oh, but I shall. E locks. The duo intend to pull. Next floor has the heal center, but 
Try to be too cautious. Just give the black glasses to freaking um, Hound Hour. Cypher frighten you? No, no they don't. Just a bunch of wuss and pussies. It was terrible. Suddenly bars in here and started beating Sec up. Jeez, kid abuse. I didn't expect Cypher to pull a stunt this bold or reckless. They came looking for a net. I'm guessing that data wrong contains sensitive information that they want to keep secret at all costs. I'll be fine. I'm worried about Net though. Please go to him. Thugs out with some unfriendly persuasion. Can you imagine the nerve of them coming after defenseless women like me? I mean, you might be defenseless, but at the end of the day, you're buff. <laughs> Uncle, you're a doll. I see your pretty face on TV all the time. But you know, you've been. You're a lot prettier in person on TV. Well, who are you? Getting Uncle's autograph. You stay out of this. Rigsaur. I guess we got a fanboy here. Go fishing, Rhyhorn. Got a little fanboy over here. We're both about to level up.
Thank you. So. Yeah, I'm, I gotta move Teddy to the back of the party. Or maybe I'll just keep it up, because maybe that's how it'll find items. Terrified by the thought that they might hurt Anka. Oh, oh, it's a big TV camera. Darn it, slash all the power cables. We could have broadcast everything that happened here. And probably that's why they did it. Thanks for your help. I don't think anyone expected the own BS to be cut to be made the target. But you watch, look at the story out on the news in a big way. Even though you don't really have much of a way, considering your cameras are well, useless right now. Uh, oh, sweetie, I was waiting for you. You can, you can bring it on. I don't go easy on little kids. Mezzan. Beauty fly and spinner rock. And a freaking Teddy Ursa is gonna, not really going to do anything right now. Swap it out immediately. Good thing that the heel center is on the next floor. Any more than that to it. I could just bring Teddy Earth out again. Really like false swipe or something. Switch out all of a sudden.
actually does more damage than I thought. Paralysis comes through. I mean, this Teddy Ursa really likes me. Oh yeah, that's all I'm gonna do to it. Apparently even Teddy Ursa knows how to do a lot of damage. on little kids. So why should I? Why should I listen to anything I have to say? About to be sneak attacked again? Okay, good. My luck, that definitely should have paralyzed. Start on me! You threw me off my battle plan! You're torturing a mother and her daughter. We were alone! My daughter and we were alone! My daughter and I, we had no idea we, what would become of us. Thank you very much. Yay! Thank you for saving us! 
Thanks again, sir. Hey now! This is where we keep our props. We can't have you getting hurt here, so beat it! Uh-uh! Uh-huh. When was going to be the one hurting? Uh, it'll definitely be you. Huh? What do you want, kid? Stay out of the way if you don't want to get hurt. Edlos. Burrant and Zixi. So I can do that. Confusion. That doesn't freeze. Like I said, you'll be the one hurt. Time to go check on friggin' Net upstairs. that real quick so you, see, you guys can actually see how the spots work what's up i thought they were filming some special effects scene all right i'm gonna cut Tough, I tell you. Be ready to be scraped, to be creamed. Huh. Looks like I cut to here now. Lobar. So I guess I might as well show you everything I did after the battle. So yeah, while I was busy taking care of something, the thing you'll see at the end of the episode, I kind of made a few adjustments to my team. 
So I bought the Makuita. And I actually put uh, Teddy Ursa away. But um, beyond that, I also awoken the Carvana's heart. And also, I gave some items to Houndour and Flaffy. I gave Houndour... I was gonna give Houndour the Black Classic, but I decided it'd be better to just give it the freaking um, charcoal that Numo was holding. And then the Voltor we caught had a magnet, so I gave that to Flaffy. Better electric type moves. And then while also doing the other thing, I think it was an energy powder that I got. Oh yeah, and more focus snacks, and you'll see by the end of the episode why. Yep. It's about that. Let's continue. We got net to save. We got arm for us. Double ghost type, but looks like that dust goal is where we're at. So I just let me bite the mischievous out. And I'll bring it flaffy. I'm gonna throw a stand at it again. Get it into those eye holes. to save. I have done so much already. What's going on here? What's a tough guy like you doing here? I'm gonna stop it, you bastards. I'm gonna save Net on the top floor. Wow, four shadow Pokemon. We awoke one. Oh, games! This guy suddenly came here, and they were really mean. I tried to make them stop, but... Don't talk to the child. Hold it! I can't let you get past here! Why not, Feldass? Dabber and Flappy. Y'all got a flapping too. Maybe 
even though I decide it's not worth going for Carvana and Sharpedo, I'll probably put the black glass on this field. It's got bite. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. I didn't, I still went for it. Actually, I'll just put it on right now, I guess. I don't need a psychic item, though. A twisted spoon, maybe. Can I get a meditate in this game? The one at Coliseum was holding a twisted spoon. Ropes! Ralts will definitely make a better alternative than freaking you know, ball toy. Like I'm just switching out and juggling my party. I don't know how I'm gonna go with this. Man, I guess I'm finally playing a Pokemon game as a Pokemon player. Twisted spoon. Uh-uh, this is not right. There you go. Thanks for helping me. Those creeps suddenly showed up and drove me away from my lookout spot. Who, who cares about that? The creeps the creeps took Meg hostage and they took her into this room. I'm really strong, aren't you? Please help Meg. Now hand over your data wrong. Of all the people it could have ended up with, it had to be with you, Net, the whiz of data analysis. I wouldn't I wouldn't do to let you keep it. It wouldn't do to let you keep it. Alright, keep your hands off my sister. Data ROM is right here. Good boy, you catch on real quick. Talk me to Data ROM nice and easy now. <laughs> okay, I'll thank you for returning to Data ROM. By the way, let me guess. Are you maybe thinking it doesn't matter because you've already copied the data on this? Captain, we finished completely scrubbing data from ONBS's server. It's all gone, sir. Yep, no being sneaky. What? That's why I'm not worried. It's heartbreaking, isn't it? Thanks for being such a great host, but we've got to go. Here's your sister back. Ned! Meg, are you alright? What are you doing there, punk? Hate to be rude, but I've got no time to lose. Get out of my way! Cypher Commander, Exile. Exile. 
Now I'm trying to giraffe a rig. I forgot to switch the black glasses. up underground. Okay, I thought the game was going to softball for a second. If I'm gonna have to bring Flappy out, I'd rather do it safely. Otherwise, it's gonna be knocked out again. Go ahead, take out the Espeon. Or go for the Bolt Toy. Sometimes I question the strategies of the AI.
fair. I just feel like I need to bring Flaffy in safely. Because otherwise it would be knocked out again. Shock on it. I have it saved in case I need to reset again. Switch out the ball toy for that. Ugh, you're some kind of battling pro? Yeah, I'll switch out the ball toy for a while. Drat! I didn't see this coming. I've got what I came for. I don't need to stick around when I've got this data ROM. Adios! Okay, so you can you got us out of that jam. But not all the data analysis but not all the data analysis was finished. Cypher creeps. Still, if only we did manage to decrypt, a part of Cypher's criminal plans became clear. For instance, Cypher was behind the disappearance of the cargo ship, SS Libra. Some more. Cypher's planning on a, ma a major attack on Fenac City. Oh no, Ned! Is that true? Marsha has gone off to Fenac City. She said she was going to investigate why the town's communication systems are down. What? Cypher could attack there at any time. Games, need your help. Please, could you inform the mayor of Fenac City about Cypher's upcoming attack? Is this the same mayor? gotta be a different mayor because the other mayor, Evis, should be gone. Fenac is east of here. Let me know about Safer's attack plan as soon as possible. Right. Marsha, I hope she's okay. Fenac is a guy named Justy who's the leader of the Prestige Pre Precept Gym. Try to hook up with him. I'm sure he'll be eager to help you stop Safer from attacking his town. Alright, if there is nothing else going. I'll see you guys then. It's amazing! They pulled a keeper of this scale so bracelet in broad daylight. If there's any indication, it appears certain that Safer will become even more active in the days to come. Now, there was a lot of them, but we should have been that unprepared. Let's give me Shift Shiro. Let's hear a rundown of events. I figured this would have been safe for the end of the episode, so I'll put it at the end of the episode. It's a wild Gligar. And another spot actually run up. And then this weird music. Not much I can do. I'm gonna start chucking balls at it. Probably not even gonna use it. Or I'll just bring Teddy Earth out.
really trying to paralyze this thing. She did nothing. Ah, I really thought harassing would still worked on ground types. I guess they just have to hit me directly to get paralyzed themselves. Statuses. I keep hucking my balls at it. about to go down. I don't think it's gonna matter. Yes, a bell chime. tired eventually. Shadow on I'm afraid it's actually gonna kill it. Oh no, it actually did nothing. I'll try again. I am poison again. Every Pokemon on my team has been poisoned essentially. Never purple mom not even gonna use.
Wait, is it Teddy? No, the Teddy is not not. Oh, and I guess the bell affects Pokemon in the party as well. Oh, it's about to go down after this. I should have probably swap that to S to be on lower its accuracy. I'm gonna be running out of poison stings at some point. Yep. After killing my entire party. Doesn't deserve a nickname. Deserves to go to the box and never come back out. Oh, the snack actually stays there. Actually, what other place went up? The Oasis. Wait. Let me check the cave. Came here and ate it all. I guess I took too long. That's why I don't do these things. Here's another Pokemon. A Fampi! Two ground types. Neither of them the trap in we were asked to search for. Pokemon that actually didn't kill my entire party. There's more. I know it's at the end of the episode for you guys, but like for me, this episode's almost over, and I'm still having to do this. Ah, our first Gen 4 Pokemon, a Munchlax. No, don't you do that! Take my eyes off you one second and off you run like this. 
Oh, no, no, you ate these Pokemon snacks, didn't you? Oh, you naughty child. Haven't I told you harshly enough to never touch what don't what doesn't belong to you? Oh, you little glutton. Pokesnacks that were here, were they yours? I'm so very sorry. I'll replace the Pokesnacks you've lost. Uh, thanks, lady. I'll use this another time. Not much, but here's something for your trouble. Energy powder. See, I'm an herbalist. I was retired, but I got the urge again to carry on as before. So I've been traveling all over, collecting ingredients for my trade. I'm terribly sorry to have it caused you trouble. I will take sense into this glutton. I will talk sense to this guy, so please accept my apology. Here, you apologize too. No, I think it's just satisfied. I sell my wares upstairs to the Pokemon Mart in Gideon Port. If you play Gideon Port, please come by and see us. Now please excuse us. He wants more snacks.